Okay, Paul here, and today on the bench I have a stator, and I believe it's a GE motor, and a um, customer sent it in for me to attach this head wire to it and check it out. So how do you check out a stator when you don't have the armature of the motor? Well, that's a good question, and I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. In this case, I've already connected the head wire, so I'm going to check the resistance across the coil via the alligator clips and my digital voltmeter, my multimeter. And you see we have 26 ohms, give or take an ohm or two, the meter not being zoomed, uh, zeroed out very well. So, you know, it's 20 ohms, give or take. Um, to 30, 20 to 40, somewhere in that, round, in that range, and you, you know you're okay. If you get like 1K ohm, you got a problem. If you get uh, open load, you definitely have a problem. Okay, that's the first step to check the coil. The second step is to power it up, and I'm going to show you how to check it then. Let me hook it up. Okay, I got it hooked up to my... Uh, Variac with a recumbent limiting bulb turned on. I'm on 38 volts and 40 volts, and we're drawing 350 milliamps of current. And you can hear that. There's the magnetic field. Oh, you see, you're really well there. There's the magnetic field switches back and forth. The screwdriver just bounces around on the coil. It tells you that you've got a good coil. Of course, I use, like I said, I use a current limiting bulb, and that was a 100-watt bulb, so that kind of keeps the current flow down while you're doing that test because you don't want too much current. Now, I could bring the current up, and uh, it should be fine. If we bring it up. As long as you keep an eye on the current. Okay, I'm on 41 volts. 390 milliamps, you know, you just want to keep an eye on the current as you bring the voltage up. Okay, so we got, all right, I'm at just under an amp at 77 volts. You can see that, 77 volts, just under an amp. And that's without my current limiting bulb. So we're fine. The uh, coil's working fine. This coil is probably rated at 1.2 amps um, when you get it up to the full voltage, but there's no reason to do that. You just need to make sure that, you know, you're not drawing an uh, outrageous amount of current. I'd say 50 volts, you should be drawing roughly five, 600 milliamps max. You shouldn't be drawing an amp at 50 volts. Uh, and the other thing is um, making sure that it is switching, that there's a magnetic field in there for the armature to turn. That's all you can do to check the stator. Very simple, but that tells you that the stator is working and it is functioning correctly. And that's how you know when you don't even have the motor and you just are uh, checking this stator for functionality. Check the resistance, make sure you're in the ballpark, check the voltage, make sure the current's in the ballpark, and check for a magnetic um, uh, core from the coil. And obviously, if the resistance is right and the current's right, you're going to have a magnetic core because you've got an iron core going through all the coils. So um, anyway, hope you found that information useful and uh um, thanks for watching the video. Please be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.